this video provides directions for searching for classes in Merlin. You can access Merlin at www.merlin.nocrl.edu. Once you've typed that website into a web browser, it will bring you to the main Merlin page. Here, you will want to log in using your North Central College user ID and password provided by admissions and orientation. You'll then click Students to arrive at your student menu. This video is most concerned with the lower left, which is titled Registration. The registration section includes links for searching and registering for classes, register and drop sections, manage my waitlist, and viewing your registration date and time, which won't be populated until spring 2021, when we meet to pick your classes for the following year. For the purposes of searching for classes, we recommend that you primarily use register for sections. Although you will not be able to register for classes until your academic advising appointment, register for sections, followed by search and register for sections, allows you to save your courses and the search that you've completed. This way you can gather a few classes that you might be interested in taking if you would like. Again, we recommend that you click register for sections, followed by search and register for sections. This will take you to Merlin's main search and register page. You'll know that you've arrived at the right place because it will say search and register for sections at the top. There are a few different ways to use the screen, so we'll go through those now. First, you'll want to make sure that you select the correct semester. First year students will be specifically looking for fall 2020. First year students will meet with an academic advisor again in the fall to register for your spring 2021 classes. Transfer students will be looking for classes in fall 2020 and spring 2021. You also might decide you want to look for classes for the entire year. Perhaps you want to look at a class that might be available in fall or spring. You can do this by using the start on slash after date feature and typing in August 1st of 2020 followed by May 15th of 2021. These dates fall before the beginning of fall semester and come after the end of spring semester. This search would produce all art classes as we can see under the gen ed here on the right for both fall and spring semester. You would then click Submit. There are also a few different ways to use the drop downs to search for classes. The first is by typing in your subject. Here we have Cardinal Directions, which is our general education, as well as a specific course number. Here I've typed in 101. All first year students are required to take Cardinal Directions 101, which is first year writing, and 102, which is first year communication. Transfer students are required to take Cardinal Directions 200, which is our transfer seminar. These would be good courses to look up this way because you know the subject, Cardinal Directions, and the exact course number, 101, 102, or 200. If you're not sure the exact course number you want to look up, you might decide that you want to put in a subject and a course level. This particular search has psychology as the subject and first year as the course level. This would provide all psychology classes between 100 and 199. You can also complete the same search with only a subject which would bring back all psychology classes from 100 to 499. Lastly, if you're looking for a gen ed class, we recommend that you always use the gen ed dropdown on the far right. Here you can see the list of gen eds that populates in this dropdown. CD stands for Cardinal Directions, our general education. Here we have Cardinal Directions Art, Cardinal Directions Humanity, Cardinal Directions Science, and so on and so forth. Your program evaluation in Merlin which you can better understand by watching the How to Understand Your Program Evaluation video, will give you an oversight of how to understand these different general education requirements and which you still have to complete. First year students will complete one of each of these general education requirements. Transfer students might bring in some of these general education courses. Your advisor will help you decide which general education courses you might put into your fall or fall and spring semester. Again, whenever looking for general education classes, we recommend you always use that drop down. If we were to select CD Arts and then click Submit, Merlin would bring back every art class that's being taught in fall or spring. This is a good way to ensure the course list that you're looking at fulfills a general education requirement. Once we've selected our course that we would like to look at in Merlin, here you can see we're looking for political science courses under section name and title. You, are, you will be brought to the screen that has every section of the course that you're looking for. This particular search was political science at the 100 first year level. So all political science classes between 100 and 199. 
On this screen, we have classes for fall 2020 and spring 2021. It's important to check the semester to make sure you've looked for classes in the semester you intend to register for. You can also check the class's status. This means whether or not seats are available for you to register. Here, if it says open, you're able to register for that particular class. This means there are seats available. You might see closed or waitlisted. This means there are not currently any seats in that particular section, so you would need to wait to see if you're able to get into the class. There is no guarantee that you're able to get into a class listed as closed or waitlisted, so we recommend registering for classes with a status of open whenever possible. You can also review the course meeting information, which includes the date range for the class. The majority of classes will start on August 24th of 2020 and run through December 14th or 15th of 2020 for fall classes. However, we do have some classes that run only eight weeks and are worth two credit hours. You want to be mindful of the dates so that you know when your class will be meeting. You'll also see classes taught Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, or a combination of those if the class is blended or only eight weeks. You want to be sure as best possible that you're picking classes that work around your different activities, curriculars, and work. However, you might find classes that you must take for your major that will require you to change your schedule outside of class. We do want to prioritize class registration to make sure that you remain on track to graduate. For this reason, we encourage you to be flexible when looking for classes at different days and times of the week. The next column that's important to your advising process is the available capacity and waitlist column. This column has three different pieces of information that are important when registering. The first is the number of seats that are available in the class. class the class here on row one has six seats available. The class has a capacity of 35, and there are zero people on the wait list waiting to get into the class. Those are important numbers to be familiar with, as some of the community colleges in the area list these numbers in different orders. We want you to remember that the first number here is the number of seats available. Lastly, you can see here the number of credit hours that classes are worth. The majority of classes at North Central College are four credits each. However, you will notice classes for two credits, as well as a variety of practica and lessons that are able to be taken for somewhere between zero and two credit hours. Please do be mindful of the number of credit hours as you want to be between 12 and 18 for full-time status. On this screen then, you can select the classes that you would like to save for your search. Here, since we're looking for fall 2020, we've selected the two open Political Science 101 classes by clicking the buttons on the far left. If you click Submit, those two classes would then be saved into your Merlin shopping cart or your course registration screen. It would bring you then to a screen that lists your entire course listing that would allow you to take action during your academic advising appointment, such as register or waitlist for classes. If you arrive at your academic advising appointment and you have no classes in your register and drop section screen, that's totally fine. Your academic advisor will bring a list of recommended classes and a recommended schedule for you. If you do arrive at your academic advising appointment with a few classes that you're interested in taking, please do be open to the suggestions that your academic advisor will make. Many of these are based on your different majors or graduation timelines. It's wonderful if you're able to look for a few classes and bring those with. However, it's definitely not required. We will be searching for classes together during your academic advising appointment though. So if you are able to log into Merlin and practice searching for classes, this will help you during your academic advising appointment as your advisor takes you through the course search and registration process.